Hey cruisers, welcome back to Cruising with John. In this episode, we're going through the daunting task of completing your immigration form. Uh, many people travel to Barbados and other such islands. And of course you have to, well, especially in the UK, fill out an immigration form that allows us into this paradise that is Barbados. So sit back uh, and I will guide you through step by step on how to do this and of course don't forget to hit that subscribe button uh, that really helps the channel out. Hit the thumbs up to say you like the video and of course hit the notification bell so that when we uh, upload more videos such as this you'll be the first to know about it. So uh, here at Cruising with John, we're all about making your life a little bit more easier, giving you hints and tips, and obviously advice about the different uh, countries that we visit as a cruise or cruiser, should I say. So uh, let's, uh, let's go through this Barbados immigration form. Of course, I'm John, this is Cruising with John, and thank you so much for watching this video. Let's do this. Okay then, let's look at this website. So first of all, make sure you are on the correct page. As you can see here, this is a very basic page. There's no pop-ups, no adverts. And so if you're seeing pop-ups, adverts, etc., etc., uh, then the chances are you are on the wrong web page. So make sure you've typed this in correctly. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash travel form dot gov dot bb okay so if you look down to the right you click on start here i didn't see anywhere where you could save the form all i could do each time when i was uh, getting it wrong just like a lot of other people i could only complete a new immigration form so click on that so it has two options here as you can see you will be entering Barbados by sea or by air. If you are traveling from uh, another another island uh, and entering Barbados, the cruise line will more than likely uh, make sure that you have completed the immigration. Normally, they won't allow you to disembark uh, unless you have filled out the immigration. So just speak to guest services and just make sure that they have their own process uh, because normally when you visit Barbados port officials will come on board and they will do all of this for you so uh, 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 of course because we're coming in from air we have to do this 72 hours uh, before going to the airport so just make sure you do that you can do it any time between you know the 72 hours and zero but of course you don't want to leave it to the last minute so anyway so we're going to be traveling by air i've already typed in tui but they've got all airlines here as you can see as you scroll up but i'm going to type in tui and click on tui airways now country of embarkation where we're we're uh, leaving the United Kingdom. So again, if you click down, you can see lots of other places. And then the port of embarkation is Birmingham International Airport. Now, again, there will ha they will have lots and lots of airports listed. Uh, but uh, I just typed in Birmingham and it, uh, the Birmingham International Airport came up. OK, so making sure that our intended date of arrival is correct. And of course you can click on this little icon here. So just to make sure. And as you see there, January, the 14th of January, 2024. So let's click on next. Now, as you can see, there are no options on this screen to actually save this information. So, um, so I don't know where where they're telling you that you can save. 
Um, okay, so this is all very, very straightforward. First name, I'm going to put uh, John. It puts it in uppercase, so uh, don't worry too much about that. Last name, Lewis. Uh, of course, I'm male. Now, country of birth, uh, well, for me, it's United Kingdom. Obviously, it would be different for other people. So if we click on that and then start to type United, you'll see the United Kingdom up there. So again, date of birth, of course, month, date, and then year. Don't get those wrong. Nationality, well, again, that would be United Kingdom. Um, zip code. Now, zip code uh, is, uh, well, it's some websites have issues to do with zip codes because in the United Kingdom, of course, we have postcodes. So if we put our postcode in, it will, um, it'll, this, this website will accept it. But of course, when things are not going through properly, uh, I would first of all, uh, do what it says at the bottom there, use six zeros if not applicable. Now, in this case, it's not applicable. So just put six zeros in there. You can put your postcode, it will accept it, but I don't know if it was that that was stopping uh, me from completing uh, the immigration processes. So country of uh, residence, again, United uh, Kingdom. And so, uh, and then of course your valid uh, email address and mine is info at cruisingwithjohn.co.uk. So uh, in, oh God, info at cruisingwithjohn.co.uk. Now when it says confirm email address, don't copy and paste because if you haven't spelt your email address uh, properly then you will obviously copy uh, uh, incorrect email address so uh, some websites won't allow you to copy and paste let's see whether this one does uh, yes it does so I would err on the side of caution and just type it in again so um, now phone number um, here we can choose United Kingdom and then obviously uh, put in your full phone number. You don't need to miss out the zero uh, like a lot of web pages do. Uh, that there just means plus four four. Uh, but uh, put in, uh, if you've got a mobile number, then uh, you know keep the zeros uh, at the beginning of the number. Uh, here it's saying obviously because I'm not confirmed the email address. And then, um, uh, and then, um, and then uh, click on uh, I hereby authorize the use of um, the personal information solely for uh, st uh, statistical purposes. Can never say that word properly. So you, you don't want to be receiving all sorts of uh, um, advertising and that. So you don't need to tick this top box here. Now check with your uh, flight details of the flight number. Mine was a two-way flight, obviously, but uh, and the flight number was TOM seven six two, and the intended date of arrival. Well, for me, it's going to be the fourteenth of January. Now, here's where you can make a mistake because in uh, abroad, uh, m most other places, to be honest, apart from the United King United Kingdom. They we have date, month, and a year. Here you've got month, date, and then year. So this is where a lot of people fail on because, uh, say for example, um, I'm going on the so 01 January uh, the 14th, so 14 there, 2024. Um, but if you were going on say the first, uh, I wish to say the 3rd of January, if you put 01. 03 of course it will accept that so just make sure you get that correct okay so we've uh, we've clicked on next after putting my date of birth in and uh, 
uh, a valid email address and confirming that I just want um, them to use my details for statistical purposes. So um, my travel document type, I'm going to be using a passport. Um, and then there, there is another one, emergency travel document. Um, maybe that's, you know, if you've lost your passport. So um, anyway, I digress. Uh, passport. And then obviously open up your passport and the travel document will be your passport number. So again, make sure that you check two or three times that you haven't typed this in incorrect. The issuing country, well, that will be on your passport again. And the travel document expiry date. So your passport expiry date, which is normally located at the bottom of the passport. And of course, don't get the month and the date the wrong way around. And um, now this is one of the things that most people fail on. Up, upload bio photo image. Now that actually refers to the two pages from your passport. That would be the expiry and start dates of your passport. Uh, a photo, it will have obviously the, doc, uh, the travel document number on there and a few other bits and pieces. And that is so that they can uh, confirm who you are. Um, but um, if uh, so, don't up upload a picture of yourself because that will not be accepted. Um, make sure that if you are scanning your uh, passport in, then it is less than three megabytes in size. Uh, so try and keep the image uh, level, the you know the uh, whether you're scanning at 300 DPI, 600 deep dots per inch, 1200 by 12. Just try and keep it so it's um, so it's good quality, but not over the top. Uh, so uh, now. If you, this is where the desktop version of this web page and uh, the mobile version of the web page, uh, uh, web page are different. When you go to upload the bio, uh, bio photo, uh, you will you will be able to take the photo within the actual. A web page so once you click on um, on on this part part of the 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 website it will say do you want to upload or do you want to use the camera so I use the camera uh, and took a photo of my passport and I accepted it immediately so um, so anyway, that's again, this is uh, the, the photo image is the one that catches a lot of people out and also the, the image size. So which com countries have you visited in the previous 21 days? Well, I put United Kingdom. Um, you can put none of the above, but I just put United Kingdom just for the sake of it, because obviously I live in the United Kingdom. So that's uh, that's uh, what I chose and it was accepted so that's great so I'm going to now click on next and we'll go to the next page okay so purpose of visit so if we click down here um, food and rum festival oh that'd be a good one uh, resident in transit passenger so that could be obviously if you uh, if you're passing through from um, from one country landing in Barbados and then going somewhere else immediately. Uh, business, um, Barbados welcome stamp. I don't know what that is. Uh, conference, crew, cruise. I chose cruise because I'm going to be cruising, thus cruising with John. Um, but there's quite, uh, there's quite a few. Uh, obviously, uh, you could put pleasure, holiday, vacation. That would work as well. Uh, so, yeah, so I put cruise. Accommodation type. Now, um, here, none of them really fitted the bill. So, uh, uh, not require comes in and leaves the same day. Um, yeah, I suppose you could use that because you're flying in, and then you're um, and then you're uh, getting on a cruise ship, aren't you? So you could use that one. Um, now, if you if uh, now, the other one, and this is what I used, and it was accepted, was I clicked on Other, and I just put uh, 
uh, crew's stateroom. But, um, and then accommodation address. Now, you're not, you don't really get an address, do you, when you're on the cruise? You can't really say, uh, I don't know, um, P&O, RVO or, but, uh, so what I did, and again, it was accepted, is that I put um, the port address down. Uh, this was suggested by, uh, another cruiser uh, from I believe I believe it was cruise critics so uh, uh, so thank you for whoever that was uh, so I put uh, Bridgetown because I uh, Bridgetown and then the parish of Bridgetown which is uh, St Michael so uh, that one there length of stays in nights I actually put how many uh, days uh, that I would be on the cruise ship. So there would be 14 because I'm doing a uh, a back to back. So that would be two seven nighters. So 14, um, uh, you know, 14 uh, nights in total. So click on next. Now, this, these are quite common questions. Um, so uh, have you had any of the following sips? Si symptoms even over the past seven days now i believe these sorts all seem to be covid related so um shortness of breath um yeah so they seem to be don't they um covid related especially chills coughs headaches but and shortness of breath of course but um i chose none of the above and then, have you been on a farm in the last seven days? And, and no, I haven't. And then next. So, this one is um, is a strange one. Um, because even if you click on add family, you basically have to fill in all the same information. Uh, again, um, obviously for your partner wife husband whoever's going with you so um let's click on add family anyway yeah so it's basically the same and then um and then um if you click on no continue it will then ask you to um tell you how many pieces of luggage you've got uh and uh, so one uh, and then of course it's quizzing you on whether uh, you are bringing uh, bits and pieces into the country so um, I am we are bringing fruits plants cut uh, sorry cut flowers vegetables well no I'm not bringing pharmaceuticals no bringing narcotics no um, we're not doing anything to do with commercial merchandise so no uh, we are carrying currency or monetary instruments uh, over what well, says 10,000 Barbadian dollars. Uh, so, uh, no. Um, uh, citizens and residents 18 years and older are exempted from duty on goods of a value not exceeding 500 Barbadian dollars per calendar year. Have you claimed? No, I've not. But here is where people are confused as well. Bring in pharmaceuticals. Now, what this is related to is if you are if you are a business person that deals with pharmaceuticals, not if you've got some uh, medication that you have to bring in order to stay healthy. So don't you don't have to put yes if you've got I don't know um, I don't know blood thinners or uh, or anything to do with asthma or anything like this. This is purely if you're a business person bringing pharmaceuticals in. So everything no there. And then it asks you to confirm everything. Okay, so uh, it it is always best to double check to make sure that you have done everything correctly. And then you click on submit. Now, I'm not going to submit this. 
uh, because obviously it will be a false uh, false information. But uh, this is where it will tell you if you have been successful or not. If you have followed all of the rules uh, that I have given you, you will be fine. On the mobile version, it seems to be a lot more forgiving uh, with regards to the photograph. But you just got to make sure that you photograph uh, uh, your, um, can't get my words out today, your passport. It's been one of those days. So yeah, just make sure you take a good photo of the passport and uh, and you'll be fine. Once you click on that submit button, it's very quick to come back and tell you if you're successful or not. And then you should get an email. So anyway, um, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this brief step-by-step -step how to uh, video. If you want any more uh, videos such as this, then please put this in the comment. Uh, and we'll see what we can do. Obviously, it's all about helping each other out. Anyway, thanks ever so much for watching. As I said before, don't forget to hit that subscribe, the thumbs up to say you enjoyed the video, and hit the notification bell so that more videos like this will pop up. Take care.